This is a uh, bracket that goes on that lower mount just like this. And the reason that's sort of important is this is our drive shaft. Let me see, this is toward the transmission. Yep. This is toward the uh, thing. And so this will go just like this. And that all mounts together just like that. And that carrier from our transmission to our right wheel has got a constant velocity joint here, but we have to affix this fairly stably. And we want to get our motor going a little better. Let's get this out of the way. I took this bracket which attaches to that lower mount, kind of like this, and um, we just eyeballed it. It was kind of high on these two lower yes. bolt holes, and uh, so we had Trace just grind that off. There's no magic to it. We just ran it on a grinder um, to try to get this angle uh, to be a little closer to our motor um, coming through there. Right. And it, of course we didn't get an exact match, but we didn't remove too much material. The bracket still got its uh, thing. And what we're going to do is make a strap. And what I did was cut a piece of 6061, right. 31 inches long, now our motor is actually a 9.4 inch diameter. 9.4. And uh, the magic of pi <laughs> will tell us that the motor is 29 and a half inches in diameter. We want to go around the motor, but we don't really want to meet because I want to use right. a couple of bolts to clamp it. Tie them up. So we cut this 31 and bent in a break each end one inch, drilled a couple of holes in them, and uh, bend it around the motor a little bit. It's five and a half inches wide, which should accommodate the uh, the bracket. And uh, drilled a couple of holes in it for the two top mount bolts on the uh, on the bracket. And so all we have to do. We've mixed them up. I had these set up where I wouldn't get them confused. I think this is the, the long one is the one I want. Um, and so this bracket affixes to our belly band, our band, with a couple of 3 8 inch bolts. We cut them off to length and uh, Let's see, a washer and a lock washer so it wouldn't interfere with the bracket or the uh, drive shaft. And we just uh, put those on about like that. This one, we don't need a washer on the inside, but we do. Need a couple here on the top side. Oh, I've got, got that shoulder. I've got a lag bolt. And so. We'll screw that on. Must be hunting season. It must be or hunting season. Or is that Elmer season. Fudge still having trouble with his R's? That's, uh, that's <laughs> my wife um, calling on the cell phone. She's a little offended that I use a quack to uh, notify me of her incoming call, but I do. So this will mount this way and go around our motor, and uh, we'll uh, see if we can... Uh, mount that and strap it up. And that should clamp around the motor and uh, hold us pretty close. Nice. 
And of course the idea is we want this to be pretty much as you see it, vertical, uh, so that it can carry that carrier bearing. And that'll attach that drive shaft to our motor. Hopefully it'll, it'll keep our motor from uh, swimming around. From wiggling a little. Yeah, all right, let's, uh, let's see if we can put this on the car and see if it does any of that. All right. All right, we got our bracket. I'm just gonna feed it up through here until our uh, feet get past the uh, lower motor mount and drop it down over it. Line up the holes. Put in the bolt, which has like 300 threads on it. And we screw that in, or screw it up. I can't remember if it's in or up, but we're, we're gonna screw this bracket to the uh, lower motor mount. And there we go. We're just uh, hinged on that lower, lower motor mount. We got our bracket on. Here we are with our bracket and our motor still swinging wildly. The first time you do this, I've obviously had this on once. That's why it's curved. Well, you're going to wind up with a pretty much straight thing. It's uh, got quite a bit of tension on it, but even this time, we've got kind of the same thing. I'm going to take a 36 inch spot tie um, and run it through here and use that to pull her down. Feed it in here. I'm gonna take a pair of pliers. And use that to pull it up kinda tight. Too good. And that'll draw it up enough where you can get a bolt in it. This is a 3 8 inch bolt, about three inches long. I'm going to put a washer on the top. Feed it down through the two holes. Kind of get it threaded in. Kind of thread it through that bottom plate till I can get a Washer and a lock, washer and a nut on it. You may have to uh, actually tap it down a little bit, get enough through to uh, do this. To tighten this up enough, take the pressure off your zip tie. We'll cut that off with a pair of cutters and see if we can work in our other bolt. Again, I kind of thread it on the uh, aluminum on the edge of the hole we've drilled in it. And it'll work down through there a little bit.
till we can get a washer, lock washer, and nut on the bottom. I recall we cut this 31 inches long, took an inch out of each end to make our little thing here. And so, I think what we're going to find is that we'll wind up being about a half inch apart and held together by the bolts. 